Hello everyone, my name is Cami Peters and I am a Renaissance Data Coach. In this short video, I'd like to show you a little bit more about looking at student data in Accelerated Reader. Today we'll be looking at two key reports for the students in Mr. DeMarco's class. Uh, so I do have a demonstration site we'll be using today uh, with Mr. Corey DeMarco so we can look at his students and his class. So uh, again, Mr. DeMarco has two reports that are really his go-to reports in Accelerated Reader. So we'll head into the reports. Uh, as you can see, there's different ways to see the data for the different quiz types available. Uh, he's going to be looking at his reading practice data today. And those two key reports are the diagnostic report and the student record report. These are the two reports that he looks at most frequently to help him with his students. So he's going to look at the diagnostic report first because this shows his whole class at a glance. So to run this report, uh, Mr. DeMarco is just going to select his students. He's also going to select the marking period that he wants to see data for. And selecting the marking period in the customization options, make sure uh, that he can see student progress towards goals. Okay. Uh, there are lots of other great customization options out here. Uh, for example, quiz language. If you have students taking English and Spanish quizzes, you can modify the report in that way. You can sort it in a particular order if you would like. For today, uh, Mr. DeMarco is just going to leave uh, everything else at the defaults. So this diagnostic report lists all of the students in Mr. DeMarco's class and some key information. Uh, again, this would be a report uh, Mr. DeMarco might even look at weekly just to keep a pulse of where his students are with their reading practice. So for each student, Mr. DeMarco can see how many quizzes the student has passed uh, and taken if they're on track to uh, make their reading practice goals as well. So there's a column for uh, percent correct. You can see everybody has an 85% correct goal. And then their actual average percent correct. So you can see very quickly if students are making that goal or not. The point goal, again, this is to measure the quantity of reading practice. So everyone is going to have their own individualized point goal uh, listed here. And then Mr. DeMarco can compare that with the amount of points they've actually earned from those uh, quizzes. Uh, there's also that book level goal, uh, which allows Mr. DeMarco to quickly see if students are choosing books that are uh, a good fit for the student. Are they too difficult or maybe they're reading books that are too easy? So very quickly he can compare the goal with their actual average book level of the books they're reading. Another great uh, feature to the diagnostic report that Mr. DeMarco uses frequently are the diagnostic codes. Uh, so if a student has a diagnostic code, they will also have a red flag pointing uh, you to the data where the code came from. So you can very quickly see where that uh, kind of trouble area might be that the student uh, needs some help with. You can also use, so Mr. DeMarco would scroll down here to the bottom of the report and view the diagnostic code summary. So that lets him know a percent code means that, uh, which it looks like that's what he has for a couple of his students, is that their average percent correct is actually below that 85% that Mr. DeMarco is looking for for his students. Uh, so let's look at uh, a 
particular student. So Mr. DeMarco is looking at his class and he sees that Tom here has a code. So his average percent correct is below Mr. DeMarco's expectations for where he would like him to be. But he's not quite sure why. Why is Tom struggling with his comprehension a little bit? So that's where he needs to use uh, the next report, which is actually the student record report, to really dig into the data to see if he can find what might be going on with Tom. So he's going to select a different report and student record report. So this report, what it's going to do is have a record of all of the books that uh, the student has read and quizzed on. So you could run it by class, but since we have a specific student in mind, we're going to just run this report for Tom. You can choose the reporting period. And another great thing about this report is the quiz type options. So if students are taking vocabulary practice quizzes or literacy skills quizzes, in addition to their reading practice quizzes, Mr. DeMarco could choose to have that data display all in one report. So we'll leave this at the defaults for today. So here's where Mr. DeMarco can do some detective work for Tom. So on this record report, he can see the date when each quiz was taken, the book title for the quiz, whether it was a fiction or nonfiction text. He can also see TWI. So what that stands for is uh, whether the student had the book read to them, whether they read the book with someone, or whether they read the book independently so that Mr. DeMarco can get that great information here. He can also see the number of questions that were on the quiz and the percent comprehension, so their average percent or their percent correct on that book. The point, uh, the point level for each book, which points also tell you more about how long the book was. So uh, Tom is reading a lot of half point books, which means they're shorter books. And then you can also see the book level for each of the books to see and maybe compare that to Tom's suggested ZPD range to see are these books within his ZPD range? Maybe they're too hard or maybe there's a book that's too easy. So you can go through and look at the different uh, quiz information and scores and find patterns. Uh, so for example, I noticed Tom is reading a lot of fiction. Now, if Mr. DeMarco is hoping that his students read more nonfiction, that might be something that he talks to Tom about. Uh, he's also reading a mix of books that he reads with someone, reads independently, and has books read to them. Um, if we look deep into Tom's data, we might notice that he has, he does struggle a little bit when he tries reading some of the longer books. So here's a book that's worth one point, a book that was worth two points, and the and his comprehension went down just a little bit on those quizzes. So maybe that's something that Mr. DeMarco wants to help Tom with or have a discussion with Tom about ways to help him when he's reading some of those uh, longer books a little bit. And that would really be Mr. DeMarco's next steps. Once he's looked at the data, uh, talking with Tom to get his thoughts on how he's been doing and to talk about next steps and how 
he can be more successful moving forward. So we talked about this process of looking at a diagnostic report and a student record report for a student who is struggling a little bit. But you could do the same thing for a student who's doing very well because they might need a little bit of extra challenge. Uh, so uh, in Tom's case, for example, reading a lot of fiction, maybe we have a student who's doing very well in that case that maybe we want to challenge them with some nonfiction. Okay. So this brings us to the end of our time today. I hope you enjoyed uh, this short tour of the diagnostic report and the student record report, two uh, key reports in Accelerated Reader. I'd also like to invite you to watch our full-length webinar for more insights on the Accelerated Reader program. And you'll find the links to the webinar in the, in the description of this video.